Hi guys, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. Um, if you're looking at this video, you probably downloaded the Stand Manage 2017 Deluxe Demo or you just purchased the program. And the purpose of this video is to help you get started using the program. We're also going to point out some of the new features in the 2017 edition. So let's get started. Let's jump right into it and then we'll go back and uh, provide an overview of the main window here. So, um, well, what you want to do is inventory your collection. So way to get started is on the main menu we've got an add stamps button here so go ahead and click on that and you're going to be presented with the list of all the countries in the deluxe edition there's many countries as you can see and let's say we want to inventory a stamp from Australia so we're just going to scroll down to Australia we're gonna open it up now you could click on Australia and you'd see all the stamps including all the uh, have postage dues and officials and all that but it's usually better to to drill down and um, click on the category of the stamp you're going to be adding so we're going to click on regular issues and let's say we want inventory Scott number 14 now we've got presented with the list of values here let's say in our example we have a mint fine example now if you look down here you'll see one of the new features in the 2017 edition that's the uh, album stock book feature and what you can do is you can specify the exact location of your stamp in, in a particular album or, um, or stock book so let's say in this example we've got a, a stock book called Australian duplicates What I just did is uh, typed in the name of the album. Now, what, after you've typed in this name and added a few stamps, uh, you'll see it in the drop down list. But right now, since we just started using the program, there's not going to be anything in this album drop down. So you're not going to be able to pick any uh, album or stock book. So then we just specify the page, hit the tab key. Tab key is uh, used uh, to travel from field to field, it's uh, much easier than having to use the mouse all the time. So click on row tab again and let's say it's column uh, five now at the top this is uh, the general information you can specify the cost let's say we bought it for nine hundred ninety nine dollars and you can also enter additional information uh, all sorts of information if if you're inventorying a first aid cover you can enter the enter the cache information plaque plate box information in the case of a plate box uh, topics you name it so but for this example we're just going to um, create a simple inventory item let's say it's hinged you just can select the hinged condition the centering cancel a gum as well so click on OK and as you can see here this stamp has been added the album stock book information is put in a separate table here and this is uh, just a list of the values for that stamp um, now the particular value for this one is is entered here and uh, this is the values of the stamp in other conditions now notice you'll see here these little um, blue uh, hyperlinks and what that does basically if you click on one is it's going to uh, change the uh, location of the program to the view section and under the grades uh, category it's you're going to see an entry for every condition you've entered uh, for a bit, for any uh, stamp in the program so in this case we entered mint fine so what you can do after you've added hundreds or thousands of stamps is you'll be able to click on a particular grade and see all the stamps of that particular grade you have uh, inventoried so we'll go back to collections and as you can see here once we have entered uh, during a uh, regular issue we now uh, have a new uh, country and category added to the my collection tab so that's how you add a simple uh, item now if you ever want to go back and edit this item what you can do is you can double click on it and it's going to allow you to make changes as necessary 
uh, you can also right mouse click and select properties if you do that it's going to do accomplish the same thing um, and you can also search for the stamp for example let's say you want to search for this particular stamp on eBay you can uh, click on that as well we'll cover all this later on Now that we've done a, a simple inventory of a single stamp, let's try something a little more complicated. And that's going to be entering uh, multiple stamps. Um, stamp management makes it very simple to add uh, multiple stamps, um, a range, or you can cherry pick which ones you want to add to your inventory. So let's go ahead and click the Add Stamp button again. And right now we're, we're back in Australia, regular issues, because the stamp manager remembers where you were previously. Now, uh, in this case, we're going to enter some stamps in the United States. Now, since there's so many countries in this list, one thing you can do that's uh, often useful is if you click in here and then type the first letter of the country you want to go to, which is U in the case of the United States, it's going to travel to the first country with that uh, letter as the first uh, character. Now, we clicked on U and immediately we see the United States. So we're going to expand that and click on General Issue. Now here's another tip. Uh, if you click in this stamp list um, window anywhere to make it active and then type in the Scott number of the stamp you want to enter, in this case let's say 98, it's going to immediately bring up uh, or select that item. So we have Scott number 98. Let's say we have a mint very fine example that cost us $2,100. We can enter that. Now, if you look at the bottom right here, you see an apply button. And what that does is it's going to take the information you entered, it's going to add it to the My Collection up here, and but it's going to stay within the Add Stamp dialog, and that makes it much easier to add many stamps at a time. So let's say we have a 96 and used fine, uh, hinged, heavily hinged. Let's say it's in the, well, that's not the right. We'll call it the um, Scott USA album. We'll just put the page. You don't have to put in the row and column if you don't want to. We'll say it's on page 45. Click apply again. And as, as you can see, we can keep doing this forever. Uh, now to enter a range of stamps what you're going to do is select the first stamp hold down the shift key and it's going to select all those now if all those stamps have the same uh, condition you just click on there and it's going to enter the value for each one now as far as the album stock book if it's, if it's in a different album stock book you don't want to specify the album stock book at this time you just make that uh, empty OK. And as you can see, all those items have, have been entered as well. In this section, we're going to take a look at the main window of Stamp Manage and what these uh, little folders over here, what, they, um, what, they, what their use is and whatnot. So first of all, obviously, you've got the My Collection, and it's going to show you all the stamps you've currently inventoried, separated by country and category. And if obviously, if you just click on a particular country, you're just going to only see the stamps for that country or that particular country and category. Now, beneath that, we have the sold stamps folder, and that's going to contain any stamps that we have sold. Obviously, when you sell a stamp, it's you don't own it anymore, so it's not really in your inventory anymore. So, uh, the way that works is anytime Stamp Manage sees a stamp, let's uh, click on this. Anytime you enter information uh, such as the date sold, who it was sold to, selling price, uh, Stamp Manage considers that stamp sold, and the next time you run the program, it's going to be in the sold stamps folder. The want list uh, that should make that should make sense. Um, basically, just uh, any stamps you want you to have on your want list. We also have reports. There's a want list with value, which is going to show you all the stamps in your want list with the values in various conditions now to add a stamp there you just right mouse click want list let's say um, got it's got number 15 on your want list Hit okay you can, as you can see it's going to be added in there 
Now, uh, to run a report on all items in your collection, you can just select from the reports menu. And as I was saying before, we have a want list with values. Now, once you run a report, you're offered the the uh, output um, possibilities. One of them is to just to send it to the printer. You can send it to an OB, Adobe PDF format, which is usually great because you then have it in file format, which you can email or, and view on different devices if you need to. And we've also got Microsoft Excel and Word, HTML, many different formats. So we're going to click on, let's click on preview, start. And there's the one stamp we entered in our want list with the v values in various different conditions. And uh, what you see now is the, like the print preview preview program, which allows you to do various things. For example, you could zoom in, zoom out. You can export all sorts of things here. So we'll click on close print preview. Now beneath that, we have the deleted stamps folder. And what happens when you delete a stamp? So we can go ahead and do that. Let's say we um, no longer have United States 100 or we entered it accidentally. What you can do is click on it and you can right mouse click and select delete. Or you can click the delete key on your keyboard. Uh, or you could actually even click on delete up here in that toolbar. So we'll just right mouse click, select delete. It's uh, going to confirm the deletion, yes. And once we've done that, it's the uh, stamp's going to show up in the deleted stamps folder. Now, if you delete something by accident, you can open up this folder and just move it back on in. Just select it, move it back into the main My Collection. You see it's back here. Now, to empty the items, the, now the deleted um, stamps folder will contain the items until you actually empty the deleted stamps folder. In this section, let us go over some of the menu options. So uh, we'll start with the help menu here. And um, basically, you can do all sorts of things here. One of these is you can um, bring up a PDF version of the report designer. Uh, you can click on our stamp managed videos, which is our stamp managed YouTube channel. And I'd highly recommend, if you haven't already, to subscribe to this channel and uh, take a look at some of the videos. Um, got all sorts of videos here, how to fix certain problems, how to do stamp checklists. Uh, out of inventory, many, many years of stamps, zebra patterns on reports, you name it. So um, it's a nice thing to be a nice idea to take a look at some of these videos, and uh, you'll learn a lot from doing that. So another option, and uh, this is could be quite important, is if you've just installed Stamp Manage Deluxe and you've installed the first DVD or only the first file, uh, you're going to need to install from the second DVD or download and install a second file. If you haven't done that, this install additional images option will be enabled. If it's disabled, it means you've already installed the additional images and everything's good to go. And um, additional images, basically we just ran out of room. Uh, we could no longer fit damage on one DVD or one download that was less than four gigabytes, so we had to create a second. Uh, second one and um, additional images is basically the images for about nine or ten countries including Italy, Russia, um, France, etc. And what else we have here? Yes, um, if you like to have a coil, a nice user manual to consult, what you can do is click on this one, purchase coil bound user manual and it's going to take you to the company that prints and distributes our manuals. So. Uh, you can go ahead and purchase that if you want to. It's $17.95 for a 94-page coil-bound manual. In this video, we spend most of our time looking at the collection section of the program. And uh, let's look at a couple of other sections. One is the Stamp Manage Catalog section. And basically, that looks that's looking at your stamp manage the predefined database of 366,000 uh, as of today. Uh, we're also adding new items um, every month. You'll see a couple thousand more. Uh, 366,000 
stamp variety listings from all over the world plus two, close to 200,000 images and you can look at all the entire database by various groupings one of those is going to be let's say country year here so let's say we want to look at all the stamps in the stamp manager database from Albania and we'll select 1954 what what you can what this is going to do is um, it's going to bring up those items and you can click on various years various countries to look at the database what the database has for that particular country and year now and as I said before you can not only do it by country year by by watermark by year across countries uh, that that means it's not going to um, subdivide it by country and the third section here is the view by section and this is operating on the stamps you have actually inventoried or the stamps in your collection so uh, if you click on years here you're gonna see the two years of stamps we've entered I don't know nine or ten stamps already and um, they're from two separate years and if you click on the year you're gonna see the stamps from that um, from that particular year that have ad been added as inventory so and as you can see here we've got all pretty much most of the fields uh, you can do it by album remember we entered a couple albums uh, while we we're entering stamps and so if you click on a particular album it's going to show all the stamps that have been uh, assigned to that particular album so um, this is a basically a, the end of the overview for stamp manage the beginners and we're going to try to provide uh, an intermediate guide maybe in the next couple weeks and uh, as always thank you very much for watching take care and bye bye Thank you.